find out there's a couple dozen of them and a couple hundred of us. Uh, yeah, to echo what uh, the uh, young lady just said, Deepak Cuomo couldn't agree more. And uh, there's some good candidates coming up for Governor 2022 in New York. Keep your eyes open, you'll see them. Cuomo's gotta go! All right, I just want to take one more shot at this. We have a candidate who can have 90 or 100 mile long pump trains and bus parades and 50,000 people come to a rally at noon and then at train and then at 6 and then at 9 and then at midnight. Are we to believe that this man can get
the voting machines that were used that had these glitches were all in the battleground states. If Biden wins legitimately, I won't like it. We won't like it, I get it. But if he wins legitimately, we're Americans and we'll accept it. But we have to make sure this was legitimate. We have to make sure and we have to count every legal vote. And we cannot listen to the mainstream media, which is even now calling for the president, uh, they're calling Biden the president elect. This is false and irresponsible. You can't do that until he's taken care of in court. They're saying this is unprecedented, that uh, the president is providing unsubstantiated commentary, and they're cutting him off in the middle of his dialogue. They're actually stopping and saying, no, we're not going to listen to him because he's speaking about unsubstantiated claims. They gave Gore until the middle of December. They gave Gore until the middle of December. We have to give the president the, the opportunity to make sure that our election was fair. Uh, okay. And, and listen, be careful who you follow and what you listen to. Don't give people the opportunity to then return and call you out. Make sure that you actually provide facts. Don't and, and don't be part. Don't listen to the mainstream media. Their your pure goal right now is to disparage you and to bring your spirits low. Don't listen because it's not over until the court says so.华裔华裔这是我们大概有十来个华裔来参加集会了这有其实大部分都是女士只有一位男士打旗的这个华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华裔华
with the most comorbidities that we have ever seen. It is time to revolutionize what it looks like to take care of ourselves. And the answers do not lie behind masks. They do not lie behind being afraid of being in contact with other people, social distancing. They don't come in a pill bottle, and they certainly don't come in a vaccine. So I encourage everyone to educate yourself, to understand that there is no person, no body that is liable for injury that comes to you or your family if you take the COVID vaccine or any of the other 72 vaccines on the schedule. You cannot sue a pharmaceutical company for the injury or death of your child. That has been in existence since 1986. And if you look at the rise of chronic illness in our children from that time, we went from 12% in 1986 when there were like 20 vaccines maybe on the schedule at that point, to now we are at a 54% chronic illness rate in our children. They say that correlation doesn't equal causation. Well, I'll tell you what, vaccines are the biggest cause of coincidences ever in the history of the United States.